what's your work ethic like then? You, yeah, like how you uh, you pumping out a couple beats every day, every week? Like you make videos, yeah. trying to do something every day. I have, a, I have a whiteboard over here, and it and it says to, to make five to ten days. But sometimes it goes from. It just depends on the mood. Like some days, like I don't make, I won't make a beat for like a day or two to give myself a break. But I won't. But I still be listening to them, uploading them on YouTube, sending them out the placements, you know, yeah. recording with Cam. But when it comes to creating beats, like when I lock in, it's over. Like I lock in a whole day and not talk to nobody. Just sit there and make beats. Like the most I made in a day was probably like 23. 23 yeah. beats in a day. I don't, I don't, you know, try to make not a good thing to do. I don't, I don't, I don't think I'll ever do that again because that's. <laughs> And it takes a lot of creativity. Survive and you can redeploy. You know, I sat there all day. That was when I was in college. I remember I was I was in the dorm and I was like, Listen man, I'm making beats. I ain't Win going to fight. You return to the front line. <laughs> so I sat if there and made 20 beats. You're up, and soldier. That, I felt Let's like go sort this fucker out. I feel like terrible after that, bro. It was, I felt garbage, bro. <laughs> Sometimes though, in the moment though, like your your creative juices are just like you're just in the zone, you're just flowing. So like sometimes you don't realize till after what you're what you're putting yourself through. But also, I know that feeling too, where oh my god, uh, you just like it kind of goes back to patience and being a little bit too anxious, and you just like you just want to do always be doing something to kind of get yourself ahead, but you just need to you know pump the brakes a little and just chill out for a second and, and you know craft some um work on one thing at a time but sometimes you just you get that anxious feeling that you need to just always be doing something to like to, to get ahead and, and make your mark but sometimes you know you just gotta chill out for a second and take a step back and like you know because sometimes that'd be fucking up your mental too like you're just working too Bro, hard that's that's exactly where i'm at right now with my like with my up and coming career right now is like i've worked I've put my head down and worked so long. Like, I have, like, in my catalog, I probably have, like, 3,000 beats. Like, I made, I made 1,800 beats in 2020. Crazy. 1,800. And in 2019, I made about the same amount. You know, so it's like, I make, at, on the average, I probably make 150 beats a month at the least. All right. So it's like, that's a lot of beats. And yeah, like, for sure. I'd be thinking that too. I'd be like, bro, like I'm really kind of. I ain't gonna say I'm working too hard. Cause I don't believe there's no. Well, I guess you could say, you know, what I've been trying to do now, basically, what, what I'm trying to say is work smarter and not harder. Facts. You gotta so have like, a balance. I put the hard work in. I put the hard work in. Like I said, I put the ten thousand hours part. Like I, like I said, since eighteen years old, I've been making beats every single day. So it's like that's not the problem anymore. Making beats is not even the issue. Now the now it's like getting it to the right people, networking, getting it in the right. So it's like I've been trying to know, like you said, like I be feeling anxious all the time. Like even right now, I'll be like, as we talking, I'm like, bro, I gotta figure out how to get these. I need to be working on something. But then I have to remember, like, yeah, I have to give it, I have to give it time to you know, to blossom, like, cause like I'm putting the work in. But what people gotta understand, what I had to understand, like you could plant a seed two years ago and it might not you know, blossom until three years later. It just sometimes right. that's how it is. So it's like, but as long as, you know, focused on what you're doing, you know, it's straight. But like you said, mental health is definitely like a number one key that you got to remain. Bro, you mindset know, is like so big for like any type of creative person. Like if your mind's not right, like you're not going to put in the work. You're not going to like take care of yourself. You're going to overwork yourself. You're going to like, you just got to, it's just got to be so perfect to like, it's gotta be the perfect situation, and like, not a lot of people understand that unless you're in that situation. Like, I don't even know how to exactly. describe it. Like, yeah, it's, it's like I said, that's what I'm like. This with this year, like this whole so far, this year, that's what I've been on now. Like, I still make beats a lot, but also I take time to like, just, you know, remember that I'm not human. Like, I'm not just a producer. Like, I gotta remember to live life too. Like, yeah, for sure. Remember, it's okay to take breaks. It's okay to not sit in front of the computer all day. I don't have to do that. Better watch what you say. Ain't got no time for the games on play. Nigga said they want it, they ain't doing what it takes. The nigga, you in the way. Yeah. Got a shot, they calling me on FaceTime. Look, baby, you know that I'm racing.
to you Put your love in my hands Maybe you know 